cops are supposed to be the ones bringing criminals and murderers to book. Right. But what happens when they are the ones committing the crimes instead? Mm. There are four cases of evil cops who ran over innocent citizens. What? This was exactly how it happened. A what? cop was so busy on his phone that he didn't pay attention to the road and ended up hitting a guy head on. Wow. Just wait until you hear what he has to say. Why the f are you looking at your phone, officer? I got a text from the other officer here. Give me a second. You are. Oh. Can he get. Bro. I would have acted like I was so hurt. I would have acted like I was so look, look at his body. Got pieces of the bike on the ground, bro. God damn it! Why are you texting? I don't care if you're texting. I wasn't, I wasn't texting. I was looking at my phone. Either texting. way. Yeah, I know. It was my bad. Why are you doing that in a turn? Mm. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Officer, holy sh, dude. Ah. You got a little piece on the ground? I can walk. Uh, how's my arm look? Your arm's fine. How about this one? You're fine. I need no, there's no no braces. That's the only braces you got right there. Jesus. What type of shoes are those? Yeah, one here. Uh, uh, right. You got band-aids? Yep, I do. You're oh, in yeah. fucking tea and my frame's cracked. Despite being entirely at fault, this officer decided to blame it on everything but himself and right. even tried to downplay the victim's injuries. He didn't get charged like any normal citizen would have been in that case. After all, what are we to expect from the department of a cop who texts while driving? But if you think this officer almost caused a major accident, this next one did, in fact, cause such an accident and wow. he did it on purpose. I'm not going I'm not going to fake my reactions chat. I did watch this clip before. We reacted to this before. So I'm letting y'all guys know I don't fake my reactions. Some of y'all saw this before my uh on one of my videos. So I'm just letting you guys know. I remember some shit, but I'm not going to remember everything. I'm just letting you guys know that. Yeah, and they hit the inside wall. But that first clip is still getting to damn. If you are wondering what just happened, this officer just forced a woman's car to flip over using a pit maneuver, I'll a pursuit that. intervention technique. The driver, Nicole Harper, was pregnant at the time and was sent into an immense amount of distress by this incident. The cop claimed that she hadn't pulled over fast enough when he tried to stop her while she. We gonna add. So that means you gotta you gotta hit her car to make the car flip. That's kind of insane, Chad. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. The first clip, I'm still on that, but the second clip right here is crazy. Let me skip this ad. According to Arkansas law, Harper did everything she was supposed to. She right. slowed down and turned on her hazard lights while right. looking for a safe place to pull over. It makes you wonder if the officer actually knows the law. Mm -hmm. You ain't her a chance to pull it over. And she's pregnant. Number three, let me shut down. Make sure y'all subscribe to Enforce. Me too. I appreciate it. Me and him both. Can you get out? Come on out. What? Come out this way, right here. Come out this way. Are you the only one in the vehicle? Yes. Okay. I'm pregnant. 
Well, ma'am, you've got to pull over when we stop. It doesn't matter, ma'am. Come on out. I've got an ambulance coming for you. You need help? Come on, it doesn't matter, man. Come on, can you come out? Come on, Can you try to like make the seat lean back? I did. I pushed it back as far as it would go. It was, it was you ain't like, apologizing nothing yet. Oh my gosh. Emma, all you have to do is she's got blood all over. Here, grab your blood right here. Even though y'all do this shit 24-7, as you say, on this intersection, she had her hazard lights on and everything. Just to let you know, like, oh, okay, you behind me back. Let me just go ahead and turn on my hazard lights so I can show you that I'm about to pull over soon. But she didn't even get her the chance to make that move. Talk about y'all do this 24-7 on this intersection. Like, we give a fuck. Then you need to turn your badge if you pull the people over like that. 
This incident clearly shows the use of deadly force over a minor traffic violation that should never have escalated. Right. The officer claimed not to know that a PIT maneuver would cause the car to roll over. This is an officer who allegedly has done over 100 pit maneuvers in his career and caused severe accidents in the process. Wow! How many of these techniques were uncalled for? We would never know. That night, an emergency room doctor told Harper that they couldn't detect her baby's heartbeat, forcing her to fear that the accident had taken her baby's life. Thank no! I got no, no, no. Oh my, no! Fuck that. Nah, bro, I'm pausing on that chat. Y'all got me fucked up. I don't give a fuck what y'all say, bro. Y'all got me bent when it comes to this shit. No cap. Y'all better not tell me that I'm pausing too much on this video, bro. Y'all tell me I want to pause it right there, nigga. I want to turn off my phone, my TV, everything. That's so sad, bro. That's so fucking, like, insane. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Thankfully, a heartbeat was detected the next day. Harper was still charged a $400 fine, but she wouldn't go down easily, as she later sued the trooper for his reckless and unprofessional actions. This officer caused a car to crash on its own, but the next cop smashed directly into an innocent civilian. Okay. Hey. Oh my God. They got it. They got it. Atkinson? Sure. <clears throat> Back to South Florida traffic. Two four five two on Atkinson stops gonna be a black jeep. Cherokee. One occupant. Reason for the stop is going to be excessive speed, no plate, and defective taillight. Mm. Seven threes with this. Man, they ain't got no. They ain't got no tag, no license plate. What the fuck you doing? And there you have it, fellas. <laughs> Look how long it took this man to get back in the car. These officers had just pulled over a black Jeep Cherokee for excessive speeding, no plate, and defective taillight. Okay. Just when the cops were about to step out of their patrol car and walk up to the driver, he pulled away from the curb and sped down the road. So, a car chase began, but something terrible was about to happen. We on the ad. Uh-oh. Something terrible was already happening. But the fact that it was two officers, one of y'all should stay in the car. Need to unpack He's going to be cell phone on Titania. The other officer will be okay. 7-4, we're trying to catch up. Uh, he's still cell phone on Titania. You can show us in the pursuit. He's got about two blocks on us right now. He just went to the red. He's out of there. He's out of there. Oh, my God. He's fired. Oh, crash, crash. He just crashed. Two blocks south. The Jeep Cherokee had just crashed and the officers had noticed. They were so busy looking at this crash that they didn't pay attention to what was right in front of them. Another car driven by a completely innocent citizen, they crashed right into that car. Mm. The civilian sustained life-threatening injuries and was rushed to a nearby hospital. Okay. Fortunately, they were later reported to have entered a stable condition. While what? all of the previous cops might have felt sorry about their actions, this next cop gleefully discusses the death of an innocent civilian with laughter and demeaning words. What? Um, I'm sure. Uh, oh. TC. I saw this too. We reacted to this. I know y'all remember this video. I'm done pausing it, but could we, this is the last uh, clip anyways. But we saw this shit. I don't want to react to it for real, for real. But for those who haven't watched, these, watched this part yet. TCIS is. Do y'all think? And I... Oh, he's good. He says, well, normally we don't give voluntary statements. And I said, hey, you're going to have to decide if you wanted to give a statement or not. But it does not seem like there's a criminal investigation going on. Otherwise, there would be other... What's that? Yeah. Otherwise, there might be other people arriving, correct? Yeah, I mean... He's going 50. That's not out of control. That's not reckless for a trained driver. Yeah. Lights and sirens. Yeah. yeah well, there's some... The, initially, uh, he said she was in a crosswalk. 
uh, there's a witness that says, no, she wasn't. But that witness could be different because I don't think she was thrown 40 feet either. Uh, I think she went up on the hood, hit the windshield. Then when he hit the brakes, flew off the car. But she is dead. <laughs> Those were the words of SPD police officer Outerer on the 24th of January, a day after an innocent citizen, Janavi Kandula, was killed by another officer who was driving at a speed of 60 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. Officer Outerer clearly felt no remorse and was even excited enough by this news to laugh about it. Steady yourself because this sadist of a cop has even more despicable words coming out of his mouth about such a terrible incident. No, it's a regular person. Yeah. Yeah, just write a check. Just... Yeah, <laughs> $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited... $11,000 for taking somebody's life. You think somebody's gonna be like, Yay, thank you so much! Eleven? I need a meal. It depends who it is too. Like if it's a motherfucking uh my brother, my sister, my auntie, my mother. Yes. Get limited value. Officer Outerer said Candula was 26 years old and so had limited value. One has never heard such despicable words about the death of another person. The video made its rounds on the internet due to its shocking nature. Right. Yet, Officer Otterer was only taken off patrol duty and reassigned to a non-operational position. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe. Yes, Goodbye. Sir. Hey, I make sure that y'all subscribe, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this shit was kind of crazy. Listen, I'm gonna need y'all go ahead and like and subscribe and turn my post notifications. If you wanna be the Nazi family, all you gotta just put down in the comment section. Hashtag KNOX, YYFAM. I'm going to like it and let you know that you're the Nazi family. It's that simple. And make sure to go follow my Instagram as well. We'll be linked down in the description so it's going to be easy for you guys to follow it so you don't have to follow nobody else and you think that is me. But the whole time it's not Nazi. No bullshit. But I love y'all. Y'all my heart. Y'all my soul. I bond with never fall. <laughs> it's your boy T2E Nazi, but shh. Don't tell nobody. Gang. <laughs>